Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is a Town Hall 9 base building episode. Gonna be building a live base for you guys. It's been a while since I've done one of these, specifically a Town Hall 9 one. Um, I'm gonna do my best. I've been kind of looking over some Town Hall 9 bases, thinking about how uh, the game has changed in terms of the meta at Town Hall 9. So this base is not going to be the best, but it's going to be a solid base, I think. I have a few vague ideas, but of course, this is all spontaneous. It's all in one take. I'm not, uh, you know, I don't have a base already pre-built, so it's just going to be kind of as it goes. And we'll see how this shapes up. Shouldn't take too long um, because it is smaller than the Town Hall 10 bases, of course. So let's get right into it. By the way, I've been working really hard on some stuff. I uh, got some awesome stuff planned for the, sorry about that, some awesome stuff planned for uh, the channel coming up. And I'm already starting to think about the 25,000 subscriber celebration. Going to have some awesome stuff for that that I'm already starting to work on, uh, believe it or not, even though we're still a ways away from that. Or maybe not, we'll see how it goes. I'm uh, going to put the CC in the middle, of course, here. We will also throw in a... We'll put in a, mm, I like putting in a defense typically. Uh, actually, no. Town Hall 10 maybe is better for that. We'll just put in a storage, uh, call it good there. Just want to have a nice uh, tight core like this. And we'll wrap it up in that form. Um, basically, the idea is to put two air defenses off to one side and two air defenses off to the other. Um, defending against Laloon, not too different from Town Hall 10 to be honest. Uh, gonna put them there and then like so that's basically gonna be the air defense layout and we can put our wizard towers down at the bottom around this area um, oh, out of range of them of course we'll go ahead and put the queen um, actually we'll move this one like that and we'll put the queen at the top of the base away from all this nonsense up here uh, we'll throw our um, I like building the compartments relatively early, but we won't do that quite yet. Um, in the middle here, we want to have a expo compartment, kind of to just uh, to separate this stuff all out. We'll put it like this. These expo compartments are a good idea to do. Uh, they can only be reached by the queen, and they tend to uh, to kind of just be a nice buffer for hogs for loons. A lot of travel time um, and just uh, not if you put a giant bomb next to it it's hard because they have to heal over it but they can't get much other value on the heal multiple good reasons this is a good idea really breaks up an attack so I'm gonna put one right there um, we'll throw like the uh, we'll throw mainly cannons by the air defenses uh, but we'll probably have like a wizard tower down around here and one right here. This will be a little a wizard tower area um, right in there. We'll have a test the farm too. They're also good ideas. Got to surprise them at this level um, because it's very difficult. By the way, uh, way shout out to uh, Dirty Danson uh, for letting me use her account. This is actually the Dax account, but I really appreciate it. Um, helps for these videos because I don't have a good Town Hall 9 account. Mine's way too under leveled. Um, okay, let's see what we got here. Let's um, Let's put the other expo um we can have them both be south expos we'll have a buffer here as well just kind of a mini buffer move that out and uh like so not the full buffer but the uh the partial to kind of block off that expo a little bit another good idea to have we'll put some giant bombs by that eventually too um we'll have the king kind of defending these air defenses you want to have the two sets of air defenses in range of each other. That way, if one lava hound sitting there, both of them can target it. It makes them uh, have to speed up their deployment, can make it a little bit trickier uh, for the attacker. So we'll have one more compartment going out like this. Um, up and over and down. All right, that's about good. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Okay, um, let's see what we got here. We'll go ahead and make a compartment out and over like so. It's starting to fill in these compartments a little bit. One like that. 
And as far as the queen goes, we're going to have her kind of be on her own to a certain extent. Um, we'll throw a few defenses in her area, but mainly storages. The queen, we got to make sure she's separate enough from everything else that she's not going to get taken out too easily in a separate push. So we'll kind of compartmentalize a little bit right here, have a buffer, some, I guess, dead zone you could call it, right like that. And uh, we'll put a wall right here and a wall right here and have this extend upwards like so. Okay. Um, now we will have a few compartments. How many walls? A little bit low. I'm used to the town hall uh, 10 amount of walls, to be honest. Uh, but all good. We'll have a compartment like that. <clears throat> we'll have one over here. Uh, like that. Probably want to break this in half. And we can maybe fit one more. <clears throat> maybe want to steal a few walls from somewhere. Uh, to put to finish off that one but this is what the base is basically gonna look like yeah this actually looks pretty solid I think um, let's go ahead and move this down oops not all of that move this down one to right there um, can make this a little bit smaller that looks good um, yeah the CC is fairly protected not that big of a deal anyway um, it's going to be kind of a compact base, but I think those tend to work better. Um, what we can do now is we got we want to really decentralize the spring traps and the giant bombs to get the hogs um, because we want to put the giant bombs in locations where the heal is not a very economic heal to use and the spring traps in locations where they will be healing to try to make them uh, waste their heals essentially for hogs. For loons, we're going to have our air sweepers in good locations, so we're going to put... Um, this one right up here and we'll put this one right up here uh, yeah that actually will be pretty good and we'll have them both um, pointing down like that so just kind of covering the base keeping everything away from the expos away from the air defenses hopefully um, maybe even have this one pointed outwards uh, that might be better we'll have to think about it okay um, now what we want to do is bring this in we want to steal some walls from some places uh, we'll just start kind of filling in I guess we can get more walls uh, to finish that off later actually can move the entire thing over one I right, need like three more walls all good though um, basically what we want to do is have the wizard towers we're gonna have like a wizard tower farm down here then we have the one wizard tower up top those are out of range uh, we want to put a few archer towers in good locations we'll put two up there um, and we'll put one back here the archer towers on town Hall nine bases you're not going to get them out of range of the air defenses not really even worth doing unless your base is super spread out which i don't think is a good idea anyway i think you're better off going with a compact base so we'll throw one there and we'll throw one there um get storage next to that guy cannons um looks like a difficult base to queen walk just because the location of those air defenses uh they can get some healers um let's see Cannon, cannon, um, cannon. I'm still thinking about where we're going to put the Tesla farm. Um, not by the wizard towers. That's too common. Uh, people expect that a lot. We'll put it in kind of a location that people won't suspect as much. We'll put it right on this flat surface. The flat surface uh, Tesla farms are really annoying if you send like golems or something at that direction. So we're just going to have the Teslas like spread out like that. We'll have to have other locations for them to make it kind of like, oh, where are they going to be? But we'll keep it like that. <clears throat> uh, where can we steal some more walls from? Walls, walls, walls. Uh, let's see. Make this one shorter. Push him. Actually, we can't push that guy back. Um, let's see. Two more walls. Where are you at? I 
think we got it. Nope, <laughs> thought we had it. Um, and we will take walls. Lastly, oh, there we go, right from there. Okay, finally got that filled off. Had to get a little bit stingy with the walls there, but got the job done. We'll throw a storage there. Um, let's see, we got um, but many of the bomb towers. They're not that important, but we want to keep them inside the base because they do provide the giant bomb blast that it, uh, can really do some damage to hogs. So we'll put one there. We want to keep them away from the queen. So we'll put the other one away. Oh, only have one bomb tower spaced out for a second. Yeah, one bomb tower. What am I thinking? Okay, so that looks pretty good. I like the lack of uh, defenses in the middle. Going to make balloons split probably. Going to be hard to cut across the base on us. Um, the mortars we can put down later. Um, anything else inside the base? I guess a storage here. Um, that's pretty much going to be it. We'll have a storage here. We will have the town hall up here with a storage. And just going to put trash up here or have other locations uh, for possible Tesla farms as well. Let's see, um, mortar here to prevent the targeting, the direct targeting of those wizard towers, make the balloons clump up if we can do it. Yeah, um, we will put this there to kind of draw some a golem in possibly. And then this one right over here. Um, looking pretty solid so far. Now we have to think about giant bombs. Those are important. Uh, Troll Tesla, of course. I don't see why people don't use it as much. Uh, maybe not Town Hall 10 because scouts are becoming so popular, but Town Hall 9 for sure. Don't get freshed. Um, that's a great location because you don't want to heal over there. It's just not a great value for your heal spell. So we'll put one. Actually, move it down a little bit. Put one right there. We will put a giant bomb uh, right over... Um, let's see. If I had more room, I'd probably put it by the cannon, possibly, but it's all good. Uh, we will put a giant bomb by one of these Teslas, actually, is what we'll do. We'll throw it right up next to the Tesla. Um, let's put one right there. Another good spot, kind of awkward for a heal. And finally, um, actually, what we can do is put one by one of these mortars, if you can even believe that. Um, just an unexpected giant bomb. Actually, that might be too easy just to destroy. Let's actually move things around a little bit and put one right there. Tricky giant bomb location, but I like it. And then we'll move this mortar up here. Yeah, to like right there. Okay, we still have one cannon left. Uh, don't want to throw it by the queen. That'll get too much <clears throat> easy value there. Uh, we can put the mortar like right, oops, right here, um, or not the mortar, the cannon, with some stuff guarding it like so. Just up the DPS a little bit. Possibly a queen walkable area to be honest, but um, we'll just have to hope they don't. Um, I'd like to have maybe something to try to prevent that from happening to a certain extent. Um, let's, let's do this. Let's trade that out there. Make this a little bit more of an awkward queen walk. So the archer tower can kind of, kind of cover. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Uh, spring traps. Want to put these in some cool locations to, uh, to fly some hogs. Um, let's see. Lots of good places for these guys. One there, one there. Spring, spring. And, uh... We'll even we'll actually we'll double up here. They won't be expecting it. Let's hope we get some hogs going through that area. That'll really take out some hogs in a good way. Uh, finally, we want to have some air skellies. Let's go ahead and do air skellies. Um, we'll put one right here, one right over here, and our black air mines. I think I mean there's different ways you can do it. I typically distribute them evenly. Just because I never want to, you know, be like, oh, if I had just had Seeking Air Mines by that one air defense, uh, but I stacked them all in the one air defense that got taken out. These, of course, should go by the Wizard Towers. Um, you know, people might try to send Lava Hounds through, and if they do, hats off to them, but you still want to force that. Um, these Teslas are nice and out of range. 
We'll go ahead and uh, make sure we have some air bombs up on those guys as well. Also by the Wizard Tower up there too. Single bombs. Um, I guess you could try to kill some wall breakers. I don't know where they'll try to wall breaker in. Possibly uh, like... Actually, I don't even know where they'd try. Maybe like uh, on the corner right here. Looks you already have the giant bomb, but I guess just to help it. And... Uh, yeah, this is a difficult base to like try to enter into. I don't see a whole lot of good places for someone to uh, to come in with with a kill squad, like with a stoned hobo or something like that. It just seems like a tricky base because um, you can't. I think uh, of course the trash just put around the rest of the base and have other possible locations for this. You don't want to make it look like the only one gap is where your stuff is. Put other two by twos. Um, where there could be Teslas and stuff like that, so they can't predict that coming. Spread that out. Um, you guys get the drill. I don't want to, you know, put the rest of the stuff down. Um, that'd be, be a bit of a waste of time. But basically, this base I think is actually pretty good because it's tough to um, to send a stoned hobo in on. I guess you maybe send it in from down here and try to just jump on top of like the expo area. Um, but even still, the expo compartments make it tricky to come through the base in any kind of coherent way. Queen Walk is what I'm concerned about, like up in this area, because you could get all three Teslas potentially. There are some storages to slow down, but you could potentially, with a mega Queen Walk, get like both heroes and quite a bit of value. I tried to, you know, move the Archer Tower back to help defend that. Um, it's still a possibility. You might want to make changes if you use this base. But I think it is actually a very solid base. Um, I'm sure you guys in the comments will have all kinds of ways to potentially three-star it. But, you know, that's <laughs> that's just with any Town Hall 9 base. There's always going to be at least ideas, um, and some of them probably would work at that. Because uh, Town Hall 9, I actually just was using this Town Hall 9 account to do a, free, a few friendly challenges. First time in maybe... A long time, a year, I've actually done serious Town Hall 9 attacks, and I was just fresh three-starring a bunch of Town Hall 9 bases, um, not to brag, but just to show that Town Hall 9, not too tricky at the moment, uh, but the CC radius actually looks fairly covered, which is not a necessity, but a good good idea, um, yeah, I think for the most part, um, if you put the trash buildings down correctly, it would be difficult to lure out the CC with just like one hog or something, so in the CC, um, don't do a hound. It, I, hound is Town Hall 10. Um, works very well for that. I've learned my lesson there. I'd use like a baby dragon and a few Valks and a wizard. Yeah, baby dragon, two Valks, or yeah, two Valks and a wizard and uh, like three archers. I don't know. I don't want to do math, but something or whatever adds up to 30 uh, that forces the queen's ability if they lure uh, the CC. And hopefully you can defend, you know, two, three attacks if you're lucky. Um, that would be cool. But that's the idea. Hope you guys like the video. Hope it helps. I'm not a Town Hall 9, but this should help. And um, actually, I'm not going to hint to any uh, more future things coming to the channel, but uh you guys might have some cool uh, opportunities in terms of base building coming to the channel soon. I'm working really hard on some different stuff, not only for 25k subs, but just for uh, new types of content and stuff like that to add to the channel. Can't give out any more information, but very soon there'll be um, some very awesome opportunities for you guys. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.